percents, decimals, and fractions. Oh my! The word percent tells you pretty much everything you need to know. Per and cent makes up the word percent. Per means to divide cent, 100 cents in dollar. So basically all it means is you're going to divide by 100. So this first example is a good representation of what's going on. 27 people out of 100 prefer brand A, while percent prefers brand A. The fraction is 27 per 100. 27 per 100 is the same as 27 per cent. That's how it is. Let's look at this question. To change from a fraction to percent, we're just going to read it. 25 per cent. 100 cents in the dollar. Reduce. 25 goes into 25. 25 goes into 100. 40 percent. 40 per hundred. Let's reduce. 20 goes into 40. 20 goes into 100. 82 percent. 82 per 100. 2 goes into 82. 2 goes into 100. 2.9 percent. Um, let's just go ahead and we'll make it a mixed number. You know, let's just do it the long way. You want to? It's not a mixed number. Let's make it 2.9 per 100. It wasn't a mixed number. Don't listen to me. 2.9 per 100. The thing is, we don't want decimals in our fraction. So what that means is, I'm going to take that decimal and I'm going to move it to the right to make it a whole number. But if I move the decimal to the right one place in the numerator, I got the same thing in the denominator. The one is zero. Makes it 29 over a thousand. That's what 2.9 percent actually is. 29 over a thousand. There is another way to do this. We'll do it. We may do one later on. Now 1 8 percent, first thing is 1 8 is the same as 0 0.125 percent. Now, the answer isn't 0 0.125. All I've done is convert the 1 8 to its decimal. Now there are other ways of doing this, but this is the way I'm going to do it. So 0 0.125 per 100. But in the same sense, we're going to move this decimal to the end. We get the whole number, which means we move it three places, which means we move this one three places. I think, yeah, one, two, three. I thought I counted too many. So we get 125 over 100,000. Now I want to get my calculator and divide that out. Let's see if 125 divides into 100,000, and it does. It's going to divide it 800 times. So 1 8 percent is the same as 1 over 800. Hmm. Let's look at this next series of examples. See what we can come up with. We're going to change these percents to a decimal. Now I'm going to do this one the long way so you can see the short way. 35%. Let's convert it to a fraction first. 35 per 100. Then we'll ask you a question. Which one's easier to divide by? 100 or 1? That's right. 1. So let's take this decimal and move it till we have a 1. So that's two places left. Let's take this decimal and let's move it the same way. Two places left. And 0.35 divided by 1. Anything divided by 1 is that same number. So we get 0.35. The moral of the story is, to convert a percent into a decimal, you move it two places to the left. Now, one of our instructors in the, in the department, Marcus Mitchell, made a video that I really, really liked. In that video, he shows alphabet. When you say the alphabet, A, B, C, D, blah, 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 and you end up with a P. They go from a decimal to a percent or in this case a percent to a decimal you're going to the left percent to a decimal to the left later on we're going to go the other direction decimal to percent will be to the right 
This is the real reason why. This is a way to remember it. Just keep that in mind. So 2% is the same as 2.0. And to convert it to a decimal, you move it to the left two places. And, uh, what, the, uh, the way to remember it is two places. Percent is per 100. 100 has two zeros in it. Watch two. Here's your decimal. Let's go two places left, and equals one point two three. And that's how you're doing on those problems. Now we're going the other direction. So to change to a percent, let's look at that D to P. From decimal to percent, we're going to the right. And once again, so based on the hundred. Two zeros in a hundred, so it's two places to the right. Let's go one, two, and we have our answer. Thirty-four percent. Let's move this decimal two places to the right to find the percent. That equals three percent. This one, when you move it two places to the right, there's a number missing, so we use a zero. So point four is the same as forty percent. And one point seven, two places to the right. Makes it 170%. Yes, you can have percents larger than 100.